y equals 2x minus 3 is the equation of a line. It's already in y equals mx plus b form, which means you can read the b or y-intercept directly from the equation. The y-intercept here is negative 3. So on the y-axis, that's the up-down axis, I want you to put a dot at negative 3. For me, that's between negative 2 and negative 4. Then you're going to read the slope. The slope is the number in front of x. It's actually written here. It's 2. As a fraction, we usually say that's 2 over 1 because 2 divided by 1 gives us 2 as our slope. That, writing it as a fraction, I should say, I do so that I can emphasize there is a rise and a run. Slope is rise over run, and here we're going to rise by 2. That means to me going up 2. And we're going to run by 1, which means going to the right by 1. So from this y-intercept that we've plotted, I want you to go up 2 and right 1. Up 2 and right 1. Put a dot there. From there, do the same. Up 2, right 1. 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 And if you want to backtrack, you just have to reverse both, both of those things. Instead of going up and right, you'll go down and left. That's down to left one, down to left one, down to left one. You'll know you've done it right if they all lie along a line. And uh, yeah, this ruler here proves that, yeah, they all do. Now your final step is to connect them all with that line, preferably drawn with the ruler, and put arrows on both sides to show that it goes infinitely in both directions. That's beautiful, just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.